Yeah, Portland State University indeed has a short and interesting history. Portland State University grew out of the educational needs in the aftermath of the Second World War, opening its door at two-year college in 1946. We established our first earth science major in 1958. In 1980, uh, the department provided critical support during the very uh, scientifically influential Mount St. Helens eruption. We are a small uh, department, but vibrant, with our faculties heavily involved in teaching and research, providing educational opportunity to uh, students from many walks of life. Uh, here at Portland State, we are very collaborative in designing our courses and how we execute the courses and then thinking about how we change courses to better affect student learning. And as that happens, we're allowed to bounce ideas off each other. Um, what works? What doesn't? Hey, did this work? And how do we change this? And how do we make it better for the students in the problems that may, they may be having? Oregon is in a geological frontier and, and this is mainly for three aspects. We are located on the leading edge of a major tectonic plate with many active uh, geological processes. Second, the Pacific Northwest uh, displays an array of overlapping geotectonic regimes, subduction, rifting, hotspot setting for volcanism and tectonism, and the mid-oceanic ridge just off the coast. And finally, although mapped and studied in reconnaissance, uh, many areas in, in Oregon are still poorly known. My students and I are collaborating with USGS and we're mapping local faults on high resolution topographic data. So this is LIDAR data. We're able to basically strip away the trees and look at the ground surface at really high resolution. We're mapping out more continuous fault systems than we have before and we are finding faults that haven't previously been identified. We're finding the timing of these earthquakes on these faults. We're finding kind of lateral extent or how long these faults are and the magnitude of earthquakes that could occur on these fault systems. So Portland State University Geology Department, we have a lot of different areas of research, um, but because you know we are here in Portland, the university's motto is serve the city. We have a lot of students that are focused on jobs, right? People who have been working in the workforce and have decided to come back to school and so want that degree to, to do something for them. Um, and so a lot of our research within the department is actually focused on practical applications um, that affect people. So the, the city of Portland um, is in a unique geologic environment in that we have a lot of hazards. Um, we have volcanic hazards related to the Cascades, the mountains. Um, we have earthquake hazards. We have landslide hazards. We have, uh, in some parts of Oregon, we have tsunami hazards, right? So there's a lot of things that, uh, that the population cares a lot about, that the city cares a lot about, and as geologists, we can address um, a lot of those, uh, those areas in our research, and we do. Some of the research that we do in PSU geology is of a more fundamental nature, um, and that is what I do. I am studying space and planetary science, and when th people think about space, they think about telescopes and astronomy. But actually at the Cascadia Meteorite Laboratory here that's housed in the Geology Department, uh, we are all about studying space rocks, meteorites. And we have the largest collection of meteorites in the Pacific Northwest. It's really a good thing to have that because you can't go out into space to, get the out to see the outcrops. You have to have the outcrops come to you and we are able to do that here at, in geology. So at Portland State University, we do fundamental research in water as well. This is uh, in relation to climate change, partly, uh, looking at Western United States glaciers. At Portland State University, we're very close to Mount Hood, which has a glacier on it. This is a, a glacier that you can visit um, in one day, right? We can drive to that glacier and back to Portland in one day, which is really unique for a university. So looking at glaciers on Mount Hood and other mountains to understand climate change. In addition, looking at paleoclimate, so climate in the deep past, in the geologic past, and understanding how that's changed both in the Northwest and in other parts of the world. So the student experience in the geology department is varied depending on the type of student that comes to us from different places. So we'll have the traditional student, students that come from a two-year uh, community college situation. We have students who are returning to continue in a new career. And we also have senior students who are lifelong learners. We give them opportunities for a variety of classes, both hybrid and online. And we also have a two-year program that allows us to give them a, a number of entry points, either freshman year or the junior year, to accommodate these different learners. 
This region is a fantastic classroom. So we have students learning here at PSU, but we get them out in the field. That's from our 200 series. These are just undergrads, non-majors. Our majors are out there in almost every course and our graduate students. So it's a phenomenal opportunity for students to learn about active processes and to go out and see those processes, to map them and to understand them. It's really a unique environment to learn in. Yeah, I think we have a bright future and it's basically because geosciences are really so important for understanding what's going on around us with climate change, uh, with uh, water resources. So I see uh, a growth in the department and this interdisciplinary where we basically solve uh, problems together from different disciplines.